Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am just going to do a client tutorial. This is my gorgeous client, Kendall, and I am just kind of talking about what she wanted to do with her makeup. First, I'm applying moisturizer just to make sure that her skin is prepped for the rest of her makeup. Priming the skin just really helps makeup apply better later. And then starting with her eyes, I always do brows first. I'm just going to do some brow powder just to fill in any light areas in her brows. And I'm using the European Wax Center Brow Powder in the color Venice. And then once that's all filled in, I'm just going to clean up the bottom area of her brows. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Cover All Concealer and a little small concealer brush. And I just really line the bottom of the brow to clean it up and make it look nice and sharp underneath there. I usually like using a concealer that's in a pot for this because it's creamy and thicker and then I blend it down into the eye base. Right now I'm doing the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot for her eyeshadow primer and I'm just putting that all over her lid to get ready for shadow. The two eyeshadow palettes I'm using today are the Pixie by Petra It's Duty Time palette and the Tardiest Pro palette. So this is the Tardiest Pro and I'm using the color Vintage just to set all of that primer and make sure that none of the shadow really clings on to any of the soft ochre paint pot. Next, dipping into the Pixie palette, I'm using the color Good Morning, which is a really warm, light brown, and I'm just going to be buffing that into her upper crease area. This is just going to be my first transition shade, and she wants a really bronzy look, so I'm going to keep it really warm with all of my shadows. And here I just keep dipping back and forth between the palette and then adding more color to her lid and really building it up kind of deeper and deeper. And once I have that to where I want it, I'm going to start darkening the outer corner. I'm using the color Aw Snap in the Pixie palette, which is just a really warm dark brown. And I'm just using that on a small pencil brush and just keeping that in her outer corner and really buffing it in. I got the Pixie by Petra eyeshadow palette a few weeks ago and it has become one of my very favorite eyeshadow palettes probably in my top three so I highly recommend it if you guys like really neutral and brown kind of colors. And then for her lid I'm going to be placing on my NYX glitter primer and I'm pouncing that on one eye at a time and for the color I'm using the elf mineral eyeshadow in the color celebrity and it's just a really light bronzy golden color and i'm putting that all over her lid and then i'm going to go to the next eye and then do the glitter primer again and then the shadow the reason i do this is because the glitter primer really dries quickly and so you want to just do one at a time for her liner, she wanted a winged eye, so what I have my clients do is look straight out and I make a little dot where I want my wing to end and then I have them close their eyes and do the rest of the liner with it closed. I'm using the Inglot Gel Liner in the number 77, which is black, and then I always mix a little bit of my Inglot Duraline in there just to make sure that it's not dried out and it's really fluid. For the inner corner, I have them look down to the opposite side and I just kind of do that inner corner of their eyes because if I do it while their eyes are closed, it doesn't turn out quite right. And so that's a nice trick that I learned when doing client's eyeliner. Once I have the liner perfected, I'm just going to move on to foundation. I'm using the Milani 2-in-1 foundation in the color 01 Creamy Vanilla, which is very yellow. And then I'm mixing in my Amazonian Clay from Tarte in the color Ivory, which is very pink, to make the perfect color for Kendall. And then I'm just going to be buffing that on with a small brush. Usually I would like to apply this with a beauty blender, but somehow I forgot my beauty blenders this day. And so I'm just going to be using this small brush instead, which turned out fine, but I do prefer the finish of these foundations mixed together applied with a beauty blender. For her under eye concealer and highlight, I am using the Tarte Shape Tape in the color Fair Neutral. This is my absolute favorite concealer ever. <laughs> It'd be hard to top it. And I'm just going to buff that in with a small little brush. Again, I'd like to use my beauty blender, but I forgot it, but this worked just fine. Once I have that all buffed in, I'm just going to do a little bit on the bridge of her nose, making sure everything looks nice and bright in the center of her face. And then I'm going to set it with my RCMA No Color Powder. That's just a translucent powder to make sure that the concealer doesn't budge. Because if you don't set it with a the powder, then it can crease. 
to warm her face up and bronze it, I am using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Powder in the color Tan Beige. And I'm just going to do that in her cheekbones and around the perimeter of her face, like her forehead and underneath her jawline. I really have been loving this powder as a bronzer, and I think it just sits on the face so beautifully. For her blush, I'm just going to be using this really beautiful Wet n Wild Ombre blush in the color Princess Daiquiri's. It's just a really light peachy pink and it's very natural. So you do kind of have to apply a lot for it to show up, but I really like that kind of like lit from within kind of look for blush. Kendall wanted a very bright highlight on her cheekbones, so when I do that, I like to apply a facial mist. I'm just using a coconut water and then applying the highlight on top. This just makes it very bright, and I'm using the Ofra Beverly Hills Highlighter. And once I've applied that intense highlight, I'm just going to be setting her face. I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray just to finish it off, and I like to kind of lightly press that into the skin with a wet beauty blender or a brush just to make sure that it gets everywhere. For lashes, I'm going to be using the Ardell Demi Wispies and my Callus or Duo Eyelash Glue. I'm not sure which one I used. I kind of alternate between those two. And then I've been using these great Sephora Lash Tweezers to apply them and brushing through with a small eyebrow brush just to make sure that all of the lashes are all combed together before using mascara. For my mascara, I'm using Maybelline Great Lash just to blend her lashes in with the falsies. And don't these look absolutely beautiful on her? She is so gorgeous. I'm obsessed. I'm also just going to do a light coat of mascara on her bottom lashes, but they are already so long they didn't need much. <laughs> I decided to do a little bit of lip moisturizer on her. I'm using the Vaseline Rose Lip Therapy just to prep her skin for lipstick. And then on the underneath of her eyes, I'm going back into the Pixi palette. And I'm going to be using the color Bubbly, which is just a really bronze color and it's very shimmery on her lower lashes. I'm just showing her the finished makeup and I'm going to be starting to curl her hair. She has very naturally curly hair, so I'm just using a wand to kind of touch up the curls. And I'm so sad because these are the last clips that I had on my camera. Somehow the last few clips got deleted. But here are a few photos of the finished product once she had her photo shoot with Lisa Williams Photography. Didn't they turn out so gorgeous? I'm obsessed. And thank you so much, Kendall, for letting me record your hair and makeup session. All right, you guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.